So the back two was taken off a couple of weeks ago, and yesterday I took off the third one here and noticed that, man, I don't know how it happened, but I got these deep scratches. This is the only one so far that had all these scratches in the paint. Luckily, I have car paint that I use to recover it. And what I'm going to do is I put, I don't know if you can see it from this angle, but I put duct tape over this hole. And for now, that's going to work to keep the rain out. Then I've got one more after, if this will focus. I've got one more to do, and that'll be it. And then I'm going to get all of these components powder coated. So I don't have to worry about rust in the future, hopefully. All right, guys. I bought this funnel, a collapsible funnel, some time ago on Amazon, along with some collapsible bowls. And I'm going to utilize that right now by transferring <coughs> water from this bottle to this bottle, because this bottle is no longer working, or the spray apparatus is no longer working. Works like a charm. The last time that I made spaghetti on this channel was a frugal way of doing it in that I used one pound of meat, two pounds of pasta, and one jar of spaghetti. Normally I make it this way, which is two pounds of meat, two pounds of pasta, and two jars of spaghetti. So this time I'm using one pound of ground beef and one pound of ground turkey. Guys, I'm going to get the party started with some pink Himalayan sea salt. Garlic powder. It's kind of windy today. And black pepper. Fresh cracked black pepper. Fresh onion. And I'm going to say something about black pepper. I'm not sure if you knew this or not, but black pepper not only tastes fantastic one of my favorite spices but it also helps your body to assimilate and absorb vitamins and minerals and nutrients that's why they put a lot of times that's why you see black pepper extract in supplements and, and stuff because for that reason
just going to add some Italian seasoning. Can't hurt. I know the spaghetti sauce has quite a bit already. Don't probably need it, but I'm going to do it anyway. Just making sure my meat is separated in small little chunks instead of, you know, nothing too big. <clears throat> Let that cook for a few minutes. All right, guys, so at this point, I'm gonna add my water. If you're finicky about the fat, uh, just go ahead and strain it if you want to. But personally, I think it adds a lot of flavor. I'm making, you know, quite a bit of spaghetti here. So I think that's just going to make a lot of flavor to leave it with the juices and stuff. So I only want to do enough water to cook two pounds of pasta. So I'm not, intentionally, I'm not going to put that much water in there. Now I'm going to go ahead and add the pasta. This is almost like playing with your food, but I'm intentionally, methodically breaking these into pieces so that they sit in there so that I can close the lid so that it will cook and come up to temperature faster. I don't know about you, but I love that sound. I hope my fingers aren't in the way. And I'm losing some of them, but... As long as I get most of it, I'm not going to... I'm not sure how this looks on camera, but this is not easy to do. I'm going to add a little more water. It's not quite enough. Ew. 
So now I'm going to cover it and wait about 8 to 10 minutes, if that. I had to bring this inside to finish up the pasta because the coals outside went out and I already disconnected my stove from the propane, so I just came in here to finish it up. I want you to see how most all of that water has absorbed. That's exactly the way I like it. So I don't, there's no draining involved. And it's full of flavor. So then I hit it with some red pepper flakes, a pat of butter, more black pepper, and green chilies, mushrooms, and my pasta sauces. I do the canned chilies and mushrooms uh, just because I don't have to worry about them going bad, but I would prefer fresh over these any day. Alrighty, so that is the finished product. Not sure how well that picks up. And yes, it is as good as it looks. Top that with some Parmesan and some garlic bread. Put some cream cheese in there or sour cream, whichever you have. Wow. Simple and wonderful. <laughs>